Okay, uh, good afternoon everyone. Uh, my name is Daniel Das. Uh, today I'm going to present regarding like the step the steps that I took to make uh, two of my tasks. It's consults or uh, it consists of uh, a poster for Mr. Panda Designs and also a poster for Dia's collections. So let's go. So here this is just the intro. So for the first thing is, I actually took a template for one of Canvas designs. So as you hear, I'm seeing, you can see me here changing the colors. So in my mind, I already had the idea that I wanted to make the panda or the mascot of the business as the subject of this design. So the first thing I thought of was, okay, let's put some bamboos as you know, those are the things that when I eat now. So so I made, I took two overlays, two bamboo overlays, I put it together. I actually had three, but then the one with the sun didn't fit perfectly. So I used uh, one just bamboo itself. So I, my goal was to make sure that I had some symmetry that, like, I don't want to eat these parallel. So I made one side bigger, one side smaller. So for the middle, I used a planter. Uh, I found a planter which online with some diamond looking like overlay. And I also added another overhead, like a crystal texture. And then after that, I just uh, I just did the brightness and contrast to, to make sure that you be able to see the panda more clearly. So yeah, and then I added also an overlay with some webbing, soft webbing, some connective. Uh, I'm not sure I can't remember the name exactly, but yeah, just to give it some pop on the poster. And you can see me here changing the colors of pink to white. Okay, so changing. Make sure it's perfect. And then for the bottom bit, put it backwards. Because I do want to like make sure the image will through over the green section. A white like the top. Then for after I just wanted to like mess around with the colors. I didn't feel like the color was super, so I made it more of a bluish, grayish color. Then I also found, I went to their website and I got their logo. It wasn't very clear, so I couldn't make, make that as a subject of the poster, but I used it as like a top, like a full stop. I then changed the color once again. So more grayish color to suit the whole look and this is the final look. Okay, now next the second task was basically I made a brochure for GS collection. So as for now I just took a, I, it's the same thing I did person took a template from uh Kerma. So then I went to their Instagram page and I collected some of not collected, downloaded some of their pictures. So as you can see, I'm just inserting all these pictures, taking all the text. And I was trying to mess around with the colors, but it didn't feel right to me. But this was their finals. This part here is just uh, finding out their Instagram page, just checking it was right, and then the button that is the name, then yeah, that is changing to a different year. Then putting some information regarding what products you sold. So, so in this case, they're selling uh, Indian, traditional Indian clothes. So for this part, I'm just, I just want to check them again, as I said, when they downloaded some pics, then inserting them. I had to maybe crop some of them because. At this point, I didn't know that I could drag it around. So I did manually crop them, but it wasn't necessary. So then for this part, I'm just accurately putting the prices. They have three in their Instagram pages. And I just put a little higher than what originally it was. As I, I asked them to say, you can put any value on this, make sure it's higher at all. It's fine. So I'm just putting the Insta, just putting like, especially regarding to allow them, allow customers to follow them and also putting a so again, I got to make sure to notify customers that that is their Instagram account. So here I'm just changing the font and the colors here to test it once again, but now I just went back to the original color. I uh, wanted to put some offset or some effects or text, but it felt too much. And for the word, the top I just added some beautiful text. Bottom I didn't do much. I tried to change the bottom to another word that didn't work, but that's all. So this is the final product. This is the first part, first page of the brochure, and this is the second part. So that is all from me. I hope you like uh, this step by step. Basically, it was not too difficult to do this, it's just that 
It's basically more of a trial area, trial area experience when the team to create a product. That is all. Thank you.